Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and the other day I got a bunch of live rock and fish from a friend of mine at work who was tearing down his reef tank. So it was kind of one of those deals where you have to take all the livestock or none of the livestock because he's shutting it down. So I ended up taking all of the livestock, but the problem is the tank had a big algae problem. And there was a bunch of algae on this nice piece of live rock with a bunch of GSP on it. So I thought, just for fun, I'll throw up my display and see how fast a healthy reef tank with a good cleanup crew can take care of a pretty nasty hair algae problem. So check out how it went. I'm trying to revive some live rock with some green star polyps on it. A guy I work with was tearing down his tank and he sold me all of the livestock out of it for a very reasonable price. But unfortunately, part of the reason he was breaking it down was it just wasn't doing well. And you can see all of the algae and all of the aptasia anemones on here. So <clears throat> I've tried to revive it all. I've got this in my main display. And I'm not really too worried about putting a rock with Aptasia in here, is I've always got a little tiny bit. For the most part, my peppermint shrimp has been taking care of it, so I'm hoping he'll take care of this stuff. I did inject a bunch of it with a calc waltzer mix before I put it in here, but as you can see, I definitely missed a whole bunch of it. The other issue is you can see all of the algae on this rock. There's a ton of it, and I'm hoping the tang and my good water conditions are going to take care of all of the algae. So I'm really interested to see how well this rock actually cleans up, because there's a lot of GSP on here. This could be a really cool rock. Now, part of the problem is it's way too big. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I can't kill the rock. It's too nice. So I'm going to do the best I can to bring it back to its former glory. So here we are exactly one week after putting this piece of live rock with the GSP in the tank. And as you can see, it is virtually completely clear of the hair algae. I mean, there's just almost nothing left. And all that is just from the tangs in the tank, the big urchin that you see, the small urchins, the lawnmower blunny, all of that stuff attacking it. I did nothing else except for maintain good water quality to beat this algae down. Now, I did move the rock's location, if you haven't noticed, um, and the reason being is the toadstool leather that was in this corner was being annoyed by this little clown gubby. And this little guy was living in the toadstool leather, annoying the toadstool leather, so I switched positions and so far it's only working okay. But that's a whole nother story. But anyways, I just thought I wanted to show how well you can take care of algae in a reef tank. If you've got the right cleanup crew in there and you've got good water quality, it just cannot survive. I mean, that was a goodly amount of hair algae on this rock, and now look at it. It's just gone. So, anyways, thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers, and I'll see you on the next one. If you like what I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and... I still try to put stuff out on Facebook, so like me there if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Bye.